Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux playing as a certain Black Revolt. Oh, nation I'm not done yet in Kaiser Redux and I just noticed that New England is actually trying to kill off Canada. Go figure. But a state under sea. Uh, actually let's read about these two in a little bit. But our own units and our struggle for independence. Someone suggested we copy the unit style of our forces. This is nonsense. We have our own country now or we are our own country now and we will have our own units as well. Distance ourselves from the car. Terror of the Black Legion. The Black Legion is a group of extreme NDWL members who whom view even the mainstream KLAN as too moderate and harken back to the first KLAN under Forrest and the Huat League groups such as Benjamin Tillman's Red Shirts, leading to them and their allies being nicknamed the Old KLAN. <clears throat> Recently, their opposition to our government has caused uh, them to be more than just a thorn in our side. We must not count on the group to prevent their continued attacks on official civilians and when occasionally organized well enough supply lines. Lunatics. Now the state under siege. The back bell's broken free of the iron fist of the old Democratic Party and the NDW up, but the situation is far from under control, and we need to defend ourselves from the Constitutional American Repo Republican of America. Republican of America. Republic of America. Already, groups ranging from the syndicalists to liberals and nationalists who have pledged loyalty to the, to the new state, but could each wishes to dominate it. With WEB as the appointed president by a small convention made up of largely SBA leaders hoping to appeal to both the center and the left, a rocky boat, a rocky road is ahead of us. First question is whether or not to enact a dr draft of black citizens in order to defend the Republic, which, while messy, may be needed to defend ours and their new freedoms. Some of the SBA, including Dubois, are not enthusiastic about the idea, but our military leaders are pushing us to do it out of fear of certain death if we do not enact a draft. Public our own units. Uh, we get 20,000 manpower, anyways. Um, we're going to probably have to use Khan's commands here because us trying to fight the car is not going to be like, you know, possible. We'll see what happens when we enact a draft. And now we're trying to defend the new states. Well, there's a lot of small trees here, which is really cool. An America identity. An American identity. Republican victory. Uh, Liberty Party. Americanists. Socialist reformers. Socialist Party. Industrial Workers Union. Uh, Socialist Vanguard. African Blood Brotherhood. The Herald of Afrofuturism. Sounds actually really cool. Space is a place. Huh. But defend the new state. We finally have a state devoted to black American political sovereignty. It must be defended at once with a proper military being recruited and organized. I do a page plan. A young plan. Do we do the Davis plan? Or do we do Flippers reform plan? I think we'll probably go with this. Own combat with goes up by 10%. Huh. That's, that's something I've not seen before. That's interesting. Support organization plus 200%. Holy crap. You know, this probably doesn't give you that much, in all honesty. Um, more division attack, more breakthrough. It's not bad. Advanced defensive measures. That's not bad, too. I like that. Long-range ballistics development. You lose, actually, speed. Submarine, precision bombing. What's over here? Armor technology is not bad. Tank production, motorized infantry actually gets hit pretty badly. What could be worse? New academies. Buffalo soldiers. Interesting. Of course, for the young plan, this is a grand battle plan with cavalry, which is not bad to use, actually. Military sciences, which is not bad. Officers. Mass Navy, and pay strategy, mass conscription, not bad, we get more organization, which is pretty good. Hit and run tactics, troop radicalization, even more organization, that's pretty nice. I think we're going to go Flipper's reform plan, though. Henry Ossian Flipper is an elder officer who brings with, us, with him his vast expertise in and emphasis on engineering advancements that allow us to produce more advanced means of attack and defense, emphasizing power, firepower and reforms, or support, not bad, not reforms. Yeah, we don't want the car stuff here. Mounted stuff is not bad. I mean, I'm going to kind of like the car if possible. We'll go with that. Um, anything else? Uh, we're at war now. Which does kind of suck. But we're only at war with the uh, this group here, so. I don't think we'll be able to take them out that quickly. As long as we just hold on. That's all that really matters, I think. Could be wrong, though. Because they're not that strong right now. Take Greenfield, get some more factories. Take Charlie, take Raleigh. See what we can do. Because we need Mobile, and we need the rest of the Southern Float as well. Oh crap. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Now, yes, 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 yes. Oh crap. Clan growth. The clan has seen increased growth, and their followers linking up more effectively with their other white league groups. Attacks on our politicians and officers have grown more common as the bombs have been planted in strategic locations and threatens to kill those who cooperate with the government. What a bunch of dudes.
Tell you what, we're definitely going to need some help here. Yes, please. We're really out of rifles. Reinforcements arrive. Syndicalists and liberals in the nearby territories have identified with the Black Belt's fight against the car and the current social leanings, arriving to aid in any way they can. With with these groups no longer needing to be underground, it has afforded us direct aid and a chance to better arm them. However, it also means the car has less internal dissent to deal with, putting more pressure on us to defend our territory. As a result, the SPA radicals are pressuring us to ask for additional troops in the CSA, though this would give their faction t tense additional influence. Hmm. We're fine as is. Yeah, we're pretty stretched uh, to the max at this point. Ooh. I mean, I'd like to go in there and go to Huntsville. Oh, Pacific States. Thank you, thank you alls. I'm just waiting for these guys to get die from these guys. It seems like not doing very well at all. Elijah Muhammad arrives. A group with chapters throughout the nation. The nation of Islam was largely based out of the north until it caught wind of the increasing instability of the Black Belt. Barely tolerated by the CSA and the AUS, both out of hope that they would aid rebels in the car and out of fear of moving against a prominent pro-black group, I'll be a reactionary one, would alienate potential black recruits. They have increasingly sent funding in rebels in the south. <clears throat> with the emergence of the Black Belt revolt, Elijah Muhammad and his entourage arrived in the territory with a large number of supporters trickling in. The rumor is that he has also allies within of all places. The UNKLIN, due to shared collaboration, as related to the racial separation, was part of the reason he was confident he and his men could safely arrive has not endeared him to our government. Unnecessary evil, perhaps. Oh, crap. They're moving in through here. Um, there's literally nothing we can do. I hate this so much. But yeah, like I said, I will cheat if we have to. Like, I don't care at this point. If we have to cheat, so be it. Just keep him in place. I'll come to the Spartacade. I want to go offensive, but... Uh... Go throw a platter, maybe. Well, we can't really do anything right now about it. Alright, so you guys can stop attacking. Oh, you guys stop right there, too. Come on, hurry up. Oh, good. Nationals campaign. Universal Negro Improvement Association, the Nation of Islam have agreed to collaborate in what is being nicknamed a nationalist campaign, which they call a Negro Liberation Campaign with the Moorish People's Temple, despite the previously tense relationship and competing for the support of right-wing black nationalists. They advocate for any conflict with the NDWL, stating that the liberal and syndicalist ideologies of, other ide of the other ideologies represent as more congruent with the needs of the young republic than the white race nationalists, who can be convinced to stick to their territory and that the black Americans should look east, not west, for unity. It's obviously dangerous to a government desire to finish off the ODP and work with the local whites, but they continue to pledge troops and commanders so long as the conflict goes on. As I say, this does not mean they will accept bending the knee to any white faction either. <clears throat> Left radicals such as Paul Robeson and Harry Haywood are nonetheless calling on us to end the reactionary threat, now instead rely on social supporters. Seeing that the re black reactionaries are a snake in a garden waiting to strike, with they mm, saying they are potentially dangerous. Others are reluctant, noting that their support is massively important, and they were in no position to oppose them, even if turning a blind eye will allow them to push out the recruitment numbers. The National Syndicalist African Blood Brotherhood in particular says we should not shut down the black nationalists while the Republic still needs support. Tolerate them? And them now. Um, we're a radical socialist currently. And I guess we have to figure out. I kind of want to see what this is. The Herald of Afrofuturism? The Cult of Sun Ra? Progressive Futurism? Reactionary Futurism? Social welfare for the masses? Spread truths of our cosmic origins. Only God, the only God is Ra? To Saturn and beyond. What the heck? Huh. After futurism. Sun Rop. Any Democrat with the American. Oh! My bad. I hate how you have to edit, like, shove it all the way up. Then you do. Off them is sock them. Then wait for the event where Sun Rock is popular. Don't crush the movie in the next year. Then that's your Sun Raw. Huh. Okay. Cool. Um. Hey, elect any of the Democratic parties. Okay, that sounds fun. Tolerate for now. Let's see what we can do. Oh, hello. Where did you guys come from? Oh, that's not good. That's not good either. These guys, the CSA is not doing enough. They're doing okay, though. 
The Nationals decided to march to the Congressional Capitol to show their dissatisfaction with the ongoing conflict and the call for peace and new alliance across racial national lines, which would claim will end and not just black prosperity, but a black American empire. Claim that we had a moral obligation to accept the terms of the treaty for the sake of the saving black lives. The numbers have continued to swell amongst those enamored with the many promises. <clears throat> Even worse, our intelligence operations tell us they have received supplies and support from the sections of the ODP and Young Clan and them in this endeavor. The SBA and much of the military leadership are, of, are of course, furious at this development, and I recommend routing them at the march. Although this would be costly during a time of war, in response, General Charles Young has offered to not only end the threat at the march, but appointed as the region to implement policies to account for those losses and create a more battle-ready state while continuing to end the national emergency of the national insurgency. Rout them. So right now we're led by Dubois, Socialist Party. The Republican Army becomes a ruling party. Wait, Republican Army. New Republican Party. Sure. Now we're ra authoritarian Democrats. Oh, okay. Now we lost support from those guys. That sucks. Well, we lost Jackson, but whatever. I'm doing for everyone else to kill them off. Okay, Empire Japan. Nationalists fail. The Nationalists march on the Congress failed today, despite their numbers. With their army managing to rout them and arrest the march leaders. Elijah Muhammad has fled the nation while most of the UNIA leadership has already been arrested. While some are upset at the resources it costs us to end this, it would be cool. It would destroy our nation in the socialist claim. It was necessary to celebrate their victories over the reactionaries. Got a lot of political power now. That's not bad. Um, in the meantime, we don't have enough command power, god dang it, to get any of this stuff. Uh, we could probably grab this guy. Something here. Maybe not a guy, but at least something here. We could use way, use way more defense. Trashman's speed, not worth it. We do get defense here too, but organization is also very, very important, so we'll go with that one. You like coffee, though. A lot, a lot of coffee. <clears throat> but so far, we're holding out. Young is head executive. With the Nationals having been failed, Charles Young rides through the Capitol National here with an assembly of officers ranging from the young Henry Johnson to the elder Henry Flipper. To the cheers of the crowd, taking his place in the Congress as the head executive of the nation after being granted emergency powers. I love emergency powers. He swears that he will restore stability at all costs, the outrage of the new Communist League and the TUUL. They're both the right leaning Republicans and left leaning reformers seek his favor. Um, balance both. I don't, you know what? We get more political power here. We'll, we'll work closely with the left. Oh, the cancel lemmings, god dang it. We don't plan, though. Hey, good job, guys. You actually got rid of a division yourself. Nice job. Come on, CSA. Come on, AUS. Come on. Oh, they actually take. Making... These guys do actually really well. I've never seen New England actually fight these guys up here. So I'm a little surprised. Defend the new state, which is fine. <clears throat> oh, the Americanists. Oh. Mass recruitment effort. Oh, weekly war support goes up. That's not bad. Approach socialist, local socialists. Fair economic play, central democratized Congress. Washingtonianism. The capital captain at the helm. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, you get American state. You didn't say outreach, huh? Oh, Buffalo soldiers. Well, I'll go to the flipper reform plan, like I said, but. <clears throat> Buffalo soldiers, Tuskegee airmen, purchase convoys, artillery support. Artillery must be a basic component of any. Of any army in our era, as it allows us to soften the enemy with shells instead of troops. Oh, look at that. An investment in artillery production and research is of the utmost importance. Oh, and you guys should go ahead. Spanish Civil War, pretty normal. Could you guys actually slip in and do this? Take out an airbase, maybe? Do you actually have any planes? I don't know why the Japanese showed up here, but whatever. No, we've no planes. Okay. You guys are really weak, and they're but they're really weak as well. You might be able to win. I don't take that. We can defend against here, too, maybe. Oh, Birmingham's completely open. Schnackies. We just don't have anything, man. Yeah, we're not going to be winning now. Why are they fucking so... Oh, and yeah, these guys went to war, too. Which is very good for us, as well. But... Oh, but this is really bad. Come on, feds. Why are you going to attack them? Not good. Hey, thanks, Japan. Thanks for fucking that up. Um, if, oh, honestly, if you guys could win and do well there, that'd be great. Don't let them through. They need to die there. We literally have no one to spare, though. This is not good.
uh, military engineers training. Military engineers are often overlooked despite their importance since ancient times. We should expand our training program for army engineers so we can better support and modernize our army. Uh, so that, how are they still alive? We don't need to guard against these guys. Come on, feds. Come on, AUS. That's all territory. It's nice. Brotherhood of Eu Brotherhood of Eurasia. Part devil, part legend, part man. As clansmen murmur around the burning cross, hailing to their cursed police, some whisper to the comrades, gossiping about a wicked rider. A vigilante rides into southern towns on a horse as dark as the night. When they hear him, audible, <clears throat> uh, by an old Winchester repeating rifle, he's gotten always trouble. Clansmen arming the rifles and windows shutting like a feared criminal lord. His horsemanship is unexcelled. He can ride, he can shoot like an eagle hunting rabbits, and he most definitely can't take nothing from no one. Every time he leaves the clansmen on their heels, cutting them down in their hasty retreats, and his most exploit, recent exploit, boss, N-word, marched into a clan rally in Jackson, Mississippi, shooting the attending cockler and two of the cluds. And then shooting confusion, Boss turned the corpse of the dead clockered into the crossfire, whooping into a terrifying war call. The clan's been fled in disarray, leaving a half dozen dead due to trampling. The Boss, N word, as he's been nicknamed, is a, himself a mystery. Known to come from Indiana and move into Illinois to his, in his early age. Boss first confirmed his ventures was murdering white supremacist lackeys, beating their heads in with a hammer. Boss keeps his hammer on his belt throughout every ride, acquiring an old Winchester from one of his victims. As with every legendary vigilante, Boss has gained the attention of Charles Leon, but Boss refuses to make a visit until. Black of all kicks out of the Cracker Menace. <laughs> Nevertheless, Boss got international fame as an extensive propaganda tool for the Black Revolt. White Man's Town, Black Man's Law. Oh, yeah, yeah, you definitely want to go in there. And you definitely want to force the attack so that they can't move. No organization means that they can't do anything, at least supposedly. They keep throwing in more divisions here. Are you kidding me? We don't have any room to spare right now. We have no divisions to spare at all. I like seeing this though. They lost supply shoes. Let them spread out first. We want to try to try to reattack them. Good. Yeah. An attack from uh, from a far away shirt, enemy can never feel safe, as we'll even give them a greater opportunity to attack the weakest points from our, out of sight. And make their journey to us even more difficult while allowing us to target their spy lines. This is good. Oh. There. Try it. Greenville, not bad. 60, not bad either. Oh, man. Oh, we're going to lose Charlotte, dang it. It's alright, though. I don't think we'd actually realistically be able to hold it, anyways. No, we're going to lose Greenville as well. Hey, we actually won there, though. Good job, guys. Um, if that's the case, I'll send you up to Charlotte. Why do they have to kill each other? Just kill the, the car off, please. Oh. Megan, you see, it's actually doing better. Whenever I play as a car most recently, they always like helping them out. Like, killing these guys off. Oh. Looks like a fence for now. But hey, Florida's looking pretty good for us right now. Not gonna lie. I like how it looks. Oh, he's actually a, John Fox is a uh, field marshal. I can't think of the word. What the heck? Huh. The F word. The F word. Field marshal. Yeah. FM. Like radio. <clears throat> Oh, advanced defensive measures. Honestly, I'm gonna go with this one next because we could really use a maximum trenchment in defense core territory. <clears throat> Excuse me. To always to allow the enemy to throw the resources and manpower to no avail will always ensure our eventual victory. We'll keep in our own men safe. Let us research advanced advancements in fortifications and defensive tactics, which sound pretty darn nice. Oh crap! I lost screen. That's fine. Whatever. Hold. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's no good. Are they seriously trying to cut us off right now? Bruh. Bruh. Quit it. Quit it, bruhs. Get out of there. God, they hate black people so much. 
What are we supposed to do about it? Nothing. There's literally nothing we can do. Yeah. Yeah, name better supply consumption, better encryption, decryption, and max entrenchment plus three already. Uh, you might want to head over here. See what you can do. Probably not very much in all honesty, but whatever. Sweden? Come on. Come on, Swedes. Not a whip crackers are bad. Though we're slowly building a new Negro state here in the Black Belt, we still have ambitions of creating an America that is open and equal to all races, colors, and creeds. And such, through, though most of our members and supporters are Negroes themselves, not all of them are. Perhaps one of the true allies for a cause from the white man's world is Walter France White, a Georgian native who has dedicated his career and life towards the pursuit of civil rights and race equality in America. A leading figure of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People the N or the NAACP since 1929, White has been one of the most outspoken supporters of the American Negro for over a decade, and as such, he is to be honored by our state. And perhaps, the most lavish ceremony ever given to a white man within our infantile republic, Walter White has been recognized and re awarded for his fierce dedication to both the cause and the courtroom and out of the protest line, rising to be one of the only universally respected white men in the black belt. Uh, true ally to our cause, Walter White. Uh, isn't that the guy from Breaking Bad? Well, I guess we're making a lot of drugs. Because all the divisions that we should have uh, should be this one. With support artillery at the very least. And actually, artillery's not looking terrible, but it could be a lot better. American United States is doing a phenomenal job. Like, holy crap. Can you guys actually win there? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Holy crap. 37. Got all that stuff. Got all that. Concentrated industry. Go here and then we get to get our land in the next. Nice. Precision bombing. Precision bombing emphasizes advancements in training and bombing methods, best suited to targeting heavy, heavy enemy air support, including tanks and aircraft, so that even that they are not out of our grasp. As such, we will tear through our resources while leaving us with shells to spare. Nice. And um, this is this, uh, I made sure the car went down to spare fire as well, which is why it's taking so long to kill them off, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Good, good, on both sides, yes, sound of that for future. Despite some reports within the government opposing such a movement, a new black culture, one of the identity and artistic movements of both, the sight and sound, have begun to spread throughout the nation. This new cultural revolution uplifts. All that, that's, that is all, all that is black as a paragon of human experience, with everything from music and art to cuisine and dance, feeling the reverberation to the bombastic and soulful renaissance. However, no musical artist has been as popular as beloved or as widespread in homes and offices across the state's glorious Le Sonnera. Born in a suburban pool of Blount on May 22nd, 1914, in Birmingham, Alabama, Sun Ra, as he likes to be called, has become a pioneer of the new African musical scene. Blount, or Sonny, as his mother or and sister used to call him, was born in a musical project, becoming a skilled pianist as a toddler and learning to compose and sight read music before becoming a teenager. First getting his start in professional music after joining his high school biology teacher's band, Sun Ra would take off as a musical genius, eventually traveling to Chicago and then to New York, proving that Sun Ra would become a young but steady fixture of the national jazz scene before the violent birth of the Second American Civil War, and before he found himself elevated to be the symbolized sound of a wholly new birth people. Now he and his ar orchestra use <laughs> a combination of electronic instruments and outlandish vocalizations and pure expression of conceptual improvisational modal jazz in our people's shared soul. Along with music, he also dabbles in uh, poetry, philosophy, theology, political thought, saying as a true renaissance man of our new state, a noted Afrofuturist and black nationalist driven on by the visions of the visiting Saturn. Sun Ra's tacit ties with both the ABB, UNIA, Black Unity League, and the Nation of Islam, but steadfastly stays out of national politics as to not alienate his fellow man or fans. With the Egyptian influence garb and his music from another world, the spaceman out of time is expected to bring new funk to our shores for decades to come as a nationally recognized and rewarded musical treasure, however. With his rise, has also come the rise of the radical forces that seek to use Sun Ra for their own ambitions, and with our administration's stance against Afro-nationalism, various groups have begun to work together in the shadows. We must keep an eye on this. We, we ride a sonic waves into the groove of our new destiny. I like that peepee, -pee, though. That's a good amount of peepee. -pee. Division attrition. Um, I want the chief of staff next, really. But at the same time, we got to weed out the clan and the Legion cells. That's what I would like.
They threw all, literally all their divisions. They're only sending divisions so that they cannot lose against us. That's literally it. They literally want to kill us all compared to everyone else. Kill them all off here. Thank God for Huey Long. <clears throat> Rising danger to radical African nationalism. With the government's direction to maintain our Americanist culture while suppressing Afro nationalism and black supremacist ideologies, we began to face some internal resistance. Rather than the upstart avant garde musician and poet Herman Paul Blount, also known as Le Sun Ra, or simply Sun Ra, a radical coalition of varied pan African parties and political groups have begun to resist new initiatives as a unified around this young herald of Afro futurism. Composed of members from the uh, African Broad Brotherhood, the Unity League and the Nation of Islam, and the United Negro Improvement Association of the African Communities League, this radical pan Africanist coalition cannot agree on anything besides, aside from their vaguely shared pan African dream. However, at least for now, they have banded together around the Sun Ra while resisting a regime with both New Age Yard separatist actions. Though Sun Ra preaches no violence, we cannot say the same for his new allies, and he's largely just a figurehead and a symbol for the movement as opposed to any true leader. Let's keep an eye on the situation. In this case, the artist tries to bite off more than he can chew. A new threat? We'll see. Take out Atlanta. We actually can hold out fairly against these guys, which is not bad. Precision bombing. Nice. Subcontracts would not be bad, and both soldiers are okay. But I guess we'll go with this side of the Americanist for now. The army of Charles Young and the supporters of Americanism have seized power. And it saved our young republic from tyranny process. Now we must stabilize the republic. There goes Atlanta, thank God. And there they go. You know what? I'm going to take an appropriate amount from these guys, so. And I'll take whatever we can to make sure we actually are somewhat okay. Let's take North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. Um. Okay, I'll take that too. Makes sense for them to get that. I'll take this too, probably, yeah. Just because we can. Ben Africa's group's surge in popularity. Actually, looks really nice. The way it's divided like that, it's not bad. Despite our initial efforts to quickly acquire, suppress, and observe the radical Pan African coalition, the party that po populated both Sun Ron's message of going only exponentially. Rising become the most beloved artist in the nation by the masses and with a growing power base behind him, using him as a powerful, powerful political puppet. Herman Poole Blount oh, seems almost untouchable. A cabinet begin to, concerned, begin to be concerned over his level of influence, a power not, despite not even holding a public office, leaving our administration in an uncomfortable position. We must not choose here and now to choose either crush this movement once and for all before it gets out of hand or uphold our democratic principles and let this funky cosmic jasmine continue to blaze a trail across our nation regardless of the risk it may pose. Let them have their artistic movement. Can we just break up the coalition and crack down on pan-Africanism? Yeah, we'll see. Settling on the name. So far, we've simply been referred to as the Black Revolt in Four Nations, and we even among ourselves simply refer to our nations as revolters. Of course, this designation was always intended to be temporary. And with us sitting on a republic, we should rename ourselves a more proper title. Oh, the Black Belt Republic. <clears throat> the son of Raleigh attempts a coup. Sounds were there, but we ignore them. Now the radical uh, Pan-African coalition and Sun Ra's marched on Charleston, demanding a change in power. Oh. Despite being backed by hundreds upon hundreds of loyal militia and paramilitary soldiers, each armed and ready to fight and die for this Pan-African dream, Sun Ra has uh, ensured that not a single shot has been fired, at least yet. Sitting outside Charleston's colonial era city hall, surrounded by armed guards and zealots, Sun Ra has given an ultimatum to the Africanist regi Americanist regime. Either lay down your arms peacefully and accept the will of the Pan-African people, or face the wrath of the masses who will not be out and deny their dream any longer. Well, the government's local police force being outgunned and outnumbered with a large portion of the army already pledging support for the Sun Ra's coalition. It seems that the only way African or Americanism hold on through the Black Belt is through another wave of violence and bloodshed like that which birthed our infantile reputation in the first place. See, this is it. Fire on the radicals now crushed Pan-Africanism once for all. That's pretty good for, for power. Herald of the Afro-Future. Nice. If you're going about that, please go ahead. Those bombing is nice and all, so we can't do that with Americanism, which is fine. Oh, assuming the leadership of Pan Africa. And we're already nice. 
Huh. The United with the Liverland. Appeal to Japan. Whoa. Claim the whole... Oh my goodness. How about the revolution? Redeem Africa. We get all of Africa? Holy crap. An American identity. Holy crap. Maybe we want to work on ourselves first before we go there. Um, the Herald of Afrofuturism. Herman Paul Blum, better known by stage name of Sun Ra, has risen to become the face of a diverse coalition of radicals and extremists, all which one thing is common. The desire to create a new pan-African identity here in New Africa. With American as forces of our former brothers now ousted from power, the ABB, the TUUL, the UNIA, a ACL, and the NOI rallied behind Blount. At least temporarily, a new culture began to form here in the Black Belt. Tied to Egyptian was African celestial and futurist aesthetics. This new movement shall become the bedrock of our new culture and identity, and with Sun Ra as a champion of the new movement. Our coalition shall hopefully endure long enough for our infantile Afro futurist state to stabilize, though a firm economic and political direction will soon have to be declared. Though Sun Ra is merely just a puppet to, hide, to, hide to these hidden powers, being used as a unifying figure to bridge the gaps between the groups, it will become the herald of this new drawn, and perhaps even an eventual savior if, if this ill fated coalition does not last. Holy crap. National birth of African identity? Um, with Herman Poole Blount at the forefront of his Pan-African coalitions composed of these various groups, he's become the face of the Pan-Africanism in America. With the democratic forces that suppress our movement now ousted, it's finally time to usher in a new Afrocentric culture. Our identity here is in, in our new Africa shall be inherently tied to our African roots and their heritage, for we shall never forget where we came from. We get slightly more political power every day and get way better consumer goods. Holy crap. Could demobilize, but I don't want to yet. Mm, air stuff, naval stuff would all be good. Anything here? Oh, it's Tennessee State. It's not bad. Negro Factories Corporation. Black Cross Association. Yeah, this was definitely better. So the clan and stuff. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me, not good. Not, not good. What's air sport? Growing pains of Afrofuturism. Uh, you know what? Let's go get this one for now. So, about Sun Ra's message peace, pacifism, and forgiveness, his allies in uh, the Radical Coalition cannot make the same promise. It's a group, their coup against the pro Americanist regime. The various groups backing Sun Ra, the ABB, the UNIA, the NOI, and the TUL have all begun to violently get their revenge against both their nation's non black population as well as any and all marks of the old order. We're right breaking out across the black belt's pan African militias from every corner of the radical spectrum or rampage across the nation in search for retribution. So now taking a firm stance against these acts of violence, but for now it seems that he can do little to stop this wave of mob rule, however, with his bloodshed and destruction has also come a sign of things to come. The cracks in the coalition begin to show greatly with the surging conflict, with even supposedly allied prayer militaries firing at each other more than once. The nation is in chaos, and the coalition is fracturing, and our national symbols caught in the middle of the warring groups fighting for their future. It seems that only Sun Rock can save us now. In due time, they will learn the true ways of Raw. Anti sub stuff. Faith of the NOI. A brothers in the UNIA. Oh, so we can only do one way. It's a birth of the pace of progressive futurism. Reactionary futurism. Black supremacism. Reign of Af reactionary Afrofuturism. The racial cosmic philosophy. Oh, okay. So what's the system I'd like? Consumer goods goes down. African nationalism. Way more political power on consumer goods. Whoa. You lose even more consumer goods, you give away way more political power, though. But eventually, political power doesn't really mean too much. It's nice and all, but. Does this one get military factories? Yeah, you do get military. And open cosmic. Unity League? African Blood Brotherhood? Oh, I don't know. You get more war support. You get more defense, too, and attack on core territory. I like the defense. That political power is nothing to laugh at, though. Holy crap. 26% more political power. But yeah, local non-core manpower. We're going to need some serious manpower eventually. And get a lot of civilian war support. And defense. You get another research slot. Oh, that's really good, too. I'm kind of feeling towards this way, though, but we call it a sun roll. That space is a place. Every Paul Blown Sun Ra is becoming more and more known as a scheme that in order for people to find a place in our universe, you must look, we must look to the stars. It's proclaimed that on all the nation we need to live to the fullest, free of earthly constraints, crying out the space is a place for a cosmic race. But many believe him to be free, speaking figuratively to inspire creativity, wonder and passion to our people as we build a new nation. Those closest to him know that there is something more to his words than just hollow hopes and dreams. Regardless, our coalitions indulge their rising living symbol. 
and has allowed him to plan a series of cosmically themed cultural and public works campaigns around the state, while also tacitly promising that our nation would attempt to build a rudimentary space program in order to fulfill his dream. Though it shall be mainly just a government lab for astronomy and observation, Sun Ra is insistent that eventually we will try our hand at getting into space ourselves, a fanciful dream if, if any has heard one. <clears throat> he came from Saturn. Spreading the trees. Well, we already paternal autographs, which is already sort of white, white ring, w right wing. Ah, I mark discovered faithful NOA. I kind of want to do <clears throat> our brothers in the UNIA. The radical coalition that bonded the extremists of the Black Buck cannot hold forever, and as a collapse, Sun Ross thrown his full support to the UNIA of James R. Stewart and Marcus Garvey. A long time believer Garvey at principle, this was a shock no one, and now it will be seen that the black nationalist and supremacist ideas of Garvey and his followers will come to the bedrock of a new Afro futurist state. Nice. Go and train, though. For now. Um. I don't trust Fed Boys. I guess technically we could hit some volunteers, yeah. Yeah, we could send him a uh, harsh boy. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. No one likes us. Typical. No one likes us. But, point nine is still not too bad. The Herald of Afrofuturism. Those Fed boys are really kicking some butt. New England, PSA, American Union State. Still killing each other. Don't know, Adrian Oh, they're pulling with them. Oh, Ru Ukraine joined Russia. Did not see that one coming. Rock's back's looking pretty small. Norway joined the right with the uh, Dona Adrian Boon. Oh, that's really bad for the Rikes Pact. Rikes Pact looking okay down here. Entente. Japan got... Japan got a lot. Wow. Oh, crap. I We took a stability hit. Fire, crap. The race for space. Uh, Sun Ra has proclaimed that space is a place for our race. Out there among the stars where we shall find paradise and salvation as our sonic shepherds... Uh, as our sonic guide shepherds us into a new cosmic destiny. Announcing the race for space, Sun Ra has declared that the people of the Black Belt should look to the heavens and beyond to find our app. Our answers and what we need <clears throat> to survive. Spreading his cosmic and Afrofuturist message in order to arouse public interest in the cosmos, Sun Ra has begun a series of cultural programs while also funding the construction of new science and astronomy centers to begin the celestial voyage. Renowned black astronomer and astro scientist Walter Samuel McAfee has been raised to be the celestial vizier, vizier to the Sun Ra. In this position, McAfee will be the chief science officer of the nation while also the main brain behind our burgeoning space program. Though we are still ages away from being able to grace the stars, McAfee and Sun Ra shall take this first step on our pilgrimage to, to the beyond. The only place for us is space. Gotta finish that one first, you might as well. There you go. Nice. Actually, we have a lot of guns now. Actually, really nice. Lots of guns. Which is good. Um, I don't think we have a lot of support equipment, though. Uh, actually, that's not bad. We get some recon eventually as well. Cavalry divisions, mounted militia. Okay, just convert to the mounted militia, that's fine. Everyone's joining the Moscow Accords now, holy cow. Try that too. Reactionary futurism. And black supremacism. It's not bad. But it's gonna help us immediately. No. So he came from Saturn. Oh, we need, well, I guess we have to go that way anyway. The call to Sun Ra first. Uh, Sun Ra uh, uh, has arisen to be the face of the Pan-Africanism in the Black Belt. The wide coalition of radicals behind it may be used as a political tool, but the love and adoration he has earned from the masses is truly his own work. This has begun to evolve naturally into a cult personality around Sun Ra's music, message, and his entire persona, only grew more popular and more beloved, even eclipsing the image and influence of the government at the times. The state shall utilize his fame to its benefit and institutionalize the cult of Sun Ra's state philosophy. Though we shall still allow people to believe what they wish, many have already been taken to Sun Ra as either the new god or new embodiment of whatever god they've already followed. Well, this fanaticism is rare, at least for now. Working with the Universal Negro Improvement Association. With Sun Ra's decision to align with the Universal Negro Improvement Association of the African Communities League, James R. Stewart has risen to be the leader of this new Afrofuturist paradise along Sun Ra, still propping up Sun Ra's puppeted symbol of unity and her new culture, the rabid black nationalists and supremacist pan-Africanists of the UNI ACL. <clears throat> or double ACL, have taken full command over the economy and political organization of the Black Belt, the African Legion, a paramilitary dedicated to protecting black lives and all that we stand for as a race. 
has risen to be the main arm of a new government along with the other UNIA organizations like the Black Cross Nurses and the Negro Factories Corporation, while after such a cultural revivalism, anti-socialism, black corporatized capitalism, and Negro exceptionalism have become to dominate a new society, as these new ideas fuse with the Sun Ra's Afrofuturist and pacifistic cosmic philosophy. However, Sun Ra has not let these radicals fully alter his dream and desire with their zealous devotion to the ideas of black empowerment, has gone to great lengths to spread a more modern, non-violent way to show our superiority over our fellow lesser men. Sun Ra has announced that it is a black man's burden to uplift the beastly races of the world, we must rise above our former oppressors and show them the error of their ways by building the greatest civilization the world has ever known here in our new Africa. An idea that UNIA founder Marcus Garvey has even become interested in from from his new UNIA headquarters in Liberia. Though this has angered some of the UNIA, <clears throat> They can do little to, dis to disobey the word of Sun Ra. For though he may not fully control the reins of the nation's government, he does control the masses with his sonic genius and artistic sound, a celestial spell that seems all hopeless to be able to break. Though uh, Stuart and his UNIA is a dominating force that once only used Sun, uh, Sun Ra as a puppet, it's becoming less and less clear who is truly in charge. Together we shall ensure the safety, prosperity, and pride of the black race. Reactionary Futurism well, with the blonde having sided with the riotous camp of the radical pan africanist coalition has started to incorporate the black supremacist and fiercely national tendencies of his newly reaffirmed compatriots. Eschewing the violent tendencies of his allies while still promoting black supremacism and the Negro exceptionalism, Sun Ra believes that the black truly is best, but we should also be benevolent to our fellow oh, lesser men. With pride in a race with truth, that we are both the best and finest first of humanity in our hearts, and we can race into the Afro future while being a beacon of all for the lesser but still valid capable beings of the world to strive to emulate. <clears throat> Please return to the Black Belt. The Sun Ra's decision to fully align with just one sector of the fracture and radical coalition may expect yet another surge of violence and outrage to spill across the Black Belt. However, it would seem that the opposite is true, for despite Blonde's favoritism and pursuit of race, the other factions have not taken up arms. Instead, they duly follow in Sun Ra's footsteps, dedicated and all trusting to his genius vision for our sheer people, and pledging their loyalty to him over any government or single political party. This has miraculously kept the peace, and with Sun Ra's message of peace reaching more and more of the masses, the growing pains of a new national movement now seem to cease as well. Though the nation is far from stable or healed, it seems finally we are on the right track to our destiny. Peace in our time at last. Not bad. We got a lot of path guys for this, this one. Black Hebrew Israelites. Oh, I should have done that one too. Seize Jewish wealth. Leftist? No. Oh, Nation of Islam. Huh. There's a lot of uh, different events here. Different things we can do. It's cool. We call it the Sun Ra. Roughly in the mouth for the sonic savior, the masses of the Black Belt have rapidly become more and more enamored of the Afro Futures Herald. As the music, poetry, and peaceful celestial pan African message of the Sun Ra. Uh, touches the hearts and minds of more and more of our citizens, his power and influence only grows. He was initially just a young puppet and a cultural symbol for the radical coalition, he slowly began to amass power in his own hands, for though the government may be dominating by his, or dominated by his allies, the population of a new paradise also are loyal to Sun Ra over any earthly government. As the cult grows, so too does our new Afrofuturist Afro cosmic identity, supported by West African, Afro Caribbean, and Egyptian aesthetics and motifs, as does Sun Ra's ability to lead her people as he pleases. Though he is still far from being able to rule alone, it is only a matter of time as a Cult of Sun Ra only drifts further into fanaticism as it gains more members. May all bow to the splendor of Ra. Black Supremacism Sun Ra's a fully delved into the reactionary ideals of new soul allies, becoming a symbol of, of both his own Afrofuturism as well as black supremacist and Negro exceptionalism espoused by his brethren and the government. Still dedicated to nonviolence, he has, this has not stopped them from reclaiming that the black race, and only the black race, is fitting of his vision and worthy of guidance and the new identity he has formed for us. Driven on by these new ideas, we'll build a state for our people here in this new paradise as we strive for the stars, and only for our people, for only we truly deserve it. Well, we're sport production. Efficiency base is actually pretty good, too. Wait, are we... Wait, what? Well, we built everything up already? Holy crap. Ah, he must have fished that one first spine out. Screw it. War propaganda would not be bad. I would like to solidify control eventually, but still. Um, 38 still. Radar's not terrible to grab. Tanks are okay. Armor trains, why not? Well, they're shooting empire. <clears throat> yeah, that's a way to get uh, one of these things, or maybe... NDWL and life support. The clan has suffered uh, massive losses in recent days and is no longer capable of efficiently coordinating with other leagues and clans across the territory. With their organization seemingly on their way out, our military has more supplies and civilians are far more certain of our victory over them than they once were. Excellente. Fine. We still have 15 and 4, so which is actually really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. 
Uh, naval research. I'm also getting more XP here. It's probably really good to do instead. Much as I like doing this stuff, it's not super important to do right now. Getting more of this stuff is more important. Broken all of the stuff, so. Black supremacism. Racial populism for people. Uh, organization. Not bad. This is who came from Saturn. With his cult of personality exponentially growing. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Growing popularity, influence, and level of zealotry. And with his own position as a puppet being eroded as he amasses more power in his own hands by the will of the people since the collapse of the radical coalition, Sun Ra decided to reveal his truth. What could this mean? Is anyone's guess? Nice. United Mexican states. Are they totalists? Huh. The feds are doing so well. How? MacArthur, what are you doing? Did, I, did they do the deal with the devil war here, or did they just never went to war with each other? Holy crap. War propaganda? I would like to send in the army, though. Commandeer civilian trains. Uh, actually, we, do we have enough trains? We need five. We have we have nine, which is fine. Uh, war propaganda? We might as well. Naval decisions. Uh, you get some flat ar naval XP, which is not bad, but still. You know, with all that stuff, I've got to make more ships. Well, it'll work for now. Um, let's grab battery two, that's fine. Sonar is fine for now. Save that for now. Uh, rapid fire. Rapid fire. Go level one, two. Oh, well, you know what? Do that one there, and then do this one here. There you go. It's not bad. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Wow, the feds are doing so well. Holy crap. More defense, more attack and core territory. Ooh. Battalion commune. Guess we could help here as well if we really wanted to, but. Mm. Yeah, I guess we, if we really wanted to. We came from Saturn. Weed out the clan, yeah. Weed them out. Racial populism in our people. Four people. Though the only true Africans are deserving of the best benefits of our state, and though we would never raise a hand in violence towards any of our countrymen, regardless of the race or skin color, that does not mean every race needs the same level of benefits or attention. Our black race is truly the best ordained by raw, so only the Negroes of this nation shall be privy to the greatest benefits. Welfare and social safety nets, as well as the ability to work in government, shall be restricted to black, African, Caribbean, or otherwise African citizens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Though we will need to take care of and protect all, only the sons of Saturn will receive the blessings of Sun Ra. <coughs> Excuse me. My apologies once again. Um, this will be really good. And then spread the truth of our cosmic origins. Nice. As we're fighting in another ma white man's war. But the coffee's still pretty good. Hmm. Benjamin O'Davis Sr. Henry Ossian Flipper. Oh, Flipper's here. He's more attack. Excuse <coughs> moi. Excuse moi. Uh, if anything, this is the one you want to attack. Can we actually beef up these boys? I like beefy boys. Cavalry divisions? Not bad. Um, actually. Well, we didn't go motorized here, so engineering schools. Overwhelming firepower. Ooh. You know what? The earlier we do this, the better it is. Um. Land action cost goes down, but we're already halfway through it already. It's not bad. We can use that immediately, but I do want to get motorized eventually. So we can move it faster. Political power game would be really nice, too. 10% more political power. Overwhelming power power. Um, light SP. Artillery artillery combat experience. We're going to use a lot of artillery eventually anyway, so we might as well just go with this one. Screw it. Smoke and fire breakthrough. Is that worth it? Let me know. Do you guys ever use smoke and fire? Let me know in the comments below. Because I, I like using it, but it's only 5% more breakthrough. So, um, over here, I kind of probably just wait for this stuff. Yeah. So with these guys at four so now we can add motorized artillery if we really wanted to because we have enough of that we don't have enough motorized currently but that makes it free for us basically um, anti-tank might be worth it as well you know what screw it since we're here anyways screw it add them on anyways uh 17 come with there you go doesn't cost anything so actually over here support arty why not 
Oh, now they're 18 and a half. 18.7. Well, that's weird. That's a very weird combo with 18.7. Uh, what do we have? Black Legion Terrorism still. Yeah. Well, I must keep trying to fight them off. He came from Saturn. Keep getting smart data army XP. I don't think we have any planes at all. Factory-wise, we're actually doing okay in factories. This is a lot, a lot more than I thought we actually would have here for the Black Revolt, basically. It's a lot better than I thought we had. He came from Saturn, though. Oh, boy. <clears throat> actually, how many planes can we send? Is this all we can send over there? We can only send five. Okay, that sucks. Uh, we'll do it like that. You all both train. You know what? There's no point in even sending these planes over because they'll just die instantly anyway, so... Well, the new nation now solidifies as a collapse of the Radical Coalition. Uh, Sun Ra's decided to reveal the nation his greatest secret and most honest truth. And televised, and read a broadcast of speech conference, or press conference, Sun Ra claimed that after receiving a vision in college, the reality of the universe was revealed to him, that he was an alien from Saturn, to save the African race from this unjust and painful world and return to them to the cosmic homeworld of our people on Saturn. He was quoted as saying, my whole body changed into something else. I could see through myself, and I went up. I wasn't in human form. I landed on a planet that identifies Saturn. They teleported me, and I was down on the stage with them. They wanted to talk with me. They had one little antenna in each ear, a little antenna over each eye. They talked to me. They told me to stop attending college because there was going to be great trouble in schools, and the world was going to be complete chaos. I would speak through music, and the world would listen. With the arrival of a devastating Black Monday, the horrible Second American Civil War, Sun Ra's vision of doom was apparently proven true, only reaffirming to both himself and his followers that what he spoke of was the truth. He now professes that through sonic masterpieces, po poetic epics, and cultural revival and revolution that we can rocket towards our Afro future together. Though many believe him to be crazy, more than have just begun to believe this celestial prophet's word, only increasing Sun Ra's power with each passing day, which shall follow his vision like it was prophecy. A new possible capital? With the recent military successes, our forces secured Tennessee, and now the great city of Memphis is now under control. <clears throat> Memphis is also the name of the old capital of ancient Egypt. As such, Sun Ra is taking a great interest in the city. He has proclaimed his desire to move the capital of Memphis to be in line with our heritage there. He wishes to build his own pyramid, a replica of the great pyramid of Giza, to serve as a new palace, as the new governmental center of the nation. Regardless of whether or not we've already chosen to move the capital there, the great pyramid of Ra at Memphis is already becoming constructed in a neo-Egyptian and Afro-future style, with the city being rebuilt to reflect its new aesthetic, much like the new Thebes. Now, the only question is, should we move the capital there? New Thebes is there as well. Go ahead with the construction, but our capital shall not change. Do we have to go to honor our ancestors? Heck, heck yeah. Cosmic Realm of Aru. A new banner for our realm. The declaration of a new state, Sun Ra's petitioned the people to design a new flag for Cosmic Realm. Though many designs were submitted, even with even Sun Ra himself submitting his own design, we, only one could be chosen. What should be the banner of a new state and the symbol we will rally behind with Long Sun Ra? The Falcon of Ra? An, uh, an Ankh, a field of orange, shall adorn a banner. Sun in a black field with yellow sun rays, large golden falcon of Ra, purple flag. Sun Ra's only submission of a fractured sun with black stars. I have no idea. Air cruise, air experience gain every day. Uh, I always look at this stuff just to see if there's anything that we really want here. Um, I'd rather get this one done first. You know what? Let me know. What should we do? The Falcon, the Ankh, Sun on the Black Field with the Yellow Sun Rays. Let me know which one of these six we shall do. Ooh, he changed. It's Cosmic Pharaoh. This is a weird campaign so far. And then after this, we shall do what? State funding for the orchestra. Orchestra. Pinnacle of creation. Yes. Art. It's a pinnacle of all creation. An endlessly variable wonder that wraps humanity in its warm embrace, binding us together while allowing us as a species to express ourselves in ways never before seen. Sun Ra will deliver humanity to a new altered and cosmic destiny with sound, art, philosophy never before seen, creating our nation and people as it carries us into the Afro future. Art must be one of the pinnacles of our state, and that means art in all of its forms. To ensure this, new art programs will be created around the nation, and new galleries, studios, museums, music halls, and even more will be built and funded by the state, all geared towards our Afrocentric and celestial identity. Well, if you enjoy this really weird campaign start... And especially about the Cosmic Room of Aru, which I don't think we'd end up with this by the end of this video. Let me know, or leave a comment, or leave a like, or subscribe if you're new, or check out my Discord link as well in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll continue to discover what else we can do as this weird Black Revolt uh, Cosmic Room of Aru. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.